Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Roughly seven months ago, when the AirPods Pro were officially released and I had them in hand and was able to test them out, I said this. So far, I'm very impressed with the new AirPods Pro. They sound better and offer more features than standard AirPods. As of right now, the AirPods Pro just released for 249, which might seem a bit high, but when you consider that the regular AirPods retail for $199, these are no doubt worth the additional $50. And while I definitely still think the AirPods Pro are some of the better sounding, if not the best sounding, in-ear true wireless headphones out there, I think the honeymoon phase for me is over. I'm not actively trying to bash the AirPods Pro in this video, that's not what I'm trying to do, but I do want to be honest with everyone and give you my own personal opinions and thoughts on the AirPods Pro. Obviously, not everyone will feel the same or have had the same experience, and that's totally fine, but my love for the AirPods Pro has been kind of short-lived. So let's talk about why and my long-term thoughts on the AirPods Pro. I don't think we need to treat this as a traditional review going through the design and specs and the features and all that. Let's just jump right into why I think I prefer using my second generation AirPods more than the more expensive and high-end AirPods Pro. And it really boils down to just two things for me. The new design, which causes the AirPods Pro stems to go way inside of your ear, and then the active noise cancellation. Now. Fortunately, I can turn off active noise canceling whenever I want, and so the problem is solved there, but the tight seal and very deep fit of these AirPods Pro can really be a problem for me sometimes. I just cannot wear them for long periods of time. I'm gonna be honest, on long flights, if I'm really tired and I wanna sleep listening to some music, I'd wear AirPods because they are very comfortable and I can lean my head on the window, something that you can't really do if you're wearing those big overhead headphones. They just don't allow you to put your head up against the wall. Anyways, for flights that were four plus hours long, I'd wear just standard AirPods pretty much the entire time and never once felt like my ears were just going to explode if I didn't take them out immediately or I felt like my ears were going to be sore for the next few days. On flights with AirPods Pro, everything about them is a catch-22 for me. Yes, the longer stem and new design makes for a better, tighter seal and fit in the ears, and it gives you more low end, and it kind of adds to a better sound profile, which is good. Add active noise cancellation into the mix, and now everything around you just kind of escapes and is gone, and you can focus on the music, and there's no airplane noise, or kids screaming, or anything going on in a loud environment. Everything can just go away, and you can focus on what you're listening to. But now, it feels like nothing can escape my ears ever, which gives me this insane pressure feeling like my head is filling up like a balloon. So what I'm saying is, I can't wear these for long periods of time at all anymore. Maybe 90 minutes to two hours max, maybe when I'm doing some yard work, but at that point, my ears feel like they're about to bleed if I don't get them out of my ears. I know this sounds harsh and maybe I'm being a little dramatic. I actually really do like this product because like I said, it sounds really good and being able to just kind of eliminate background, background noise whenever I want is something that I like. However, I absolutely just love my standard AirPods more because they just fit a little lighter on the ears. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything. They were my favorite piece of tech when they came out back in 2016 and probably my favorite new piece of Apple tech that came out in the last decade. And so I was so excited when Apple announced the AirPods Pro. And while I do think they are definitely an upgrade, at least in sound quality, it's not worth the other trade-offs for me. The AirPods Pro biggest appeal outside of the H1 chip, which is also in the AirPods and allows for quick pairing and excellent compatibility with the rest of Apple's ecosystem is the active noise cancellation coupled with transparency and that redesign that allows for a more broad general fit that can appeal to the masses. If I'm constantly turning off active noise cancellation when I'm using these in a quiet environment because I just don't need it, which is probably 90% of the time that I'm using AirPods Pro these days, and the new fit hurts my ears, 
the AirPods Pro are kind of a tough sell for me. So my recommendation for those who are thinking about getting AirPods Pro but just aren't quite sure is try them out and wear them for long periods of time. Definitely see if wearing them for two, three, four hours at a time, if it hurts like crazy, then maybe it's not the best option for you and look into regular AirPods. Over the last few months, we've heard some rumors about what's next with Apple's true wireless headphone lineup, and there have been a lot of talk about an AirPods Pro Lite. And really, we're just looking at new AirPods, in theory, that will ditch the current design in favor for the AirPods Pro design, but will probably not have active noise cancellation and transparency to bring down the cost, and given everything I've just said about the AirPods Pro, these rumors kind of scare me. I really don't want the regular AirPods design to change since they fit me perfectly, but if it's something that doesn't appeal to everyone, they're obviously not going to cater to just one out of, you know, millions of people that are potentially buying these new headphones. And so I really do think that's probably going to happen. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts about all of the things that I just laid out in this sort of short video, but long-term review of my thoughts on the AirPods Pro. Do you feel the same way or is this just me? I know some other people have had other issues with their AirPods Pro, some reports of crackling sounds, and thankfully mine seem to be operating normally, but yeah, the ear fatigue is a real concern for me, and I would love to know if anyone else feels the same way. So go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, and this has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.